Hey y'all, so I had something on my mind that I wanted to share. And this may challenge some of you a bit. So when things started to really change for me, when I realized that I was going to have to take seriously all this stuff, the stuff being um, willingness, open-mindedness to change, etc., all the stuff. Anyway, one really big moment for me was when I realized that something that was going to be essential on my journey was a healthy, healthy dose of radical acceptance. See, for a majority of, hell, uh, teenage and adult life, something that I held on to was um, my trauma. When I knew that things were different, I knew that I was going to have to come to a, a completely new level of acceptance. I realized that while impacted by these things, for sure, not discounting anyone's experience who, like me, was exposed to uh, addiction extremely early or sexually abused or physically abused or beaten, abandoned, neglected, etc., any of those things, as I was, they did not make me pick up a drink. That was me. Nor did they make me continue a cycle of relapse and dependence and incarceration and just chaos and perpetuate this cycle of crisis for me and anyone around me, especially those who I cared about and who cared about me. As dynamic and resilient as we are, I'll speak for myself, as dynamic and resilient as I am, I always found a way to quit everything but the things that were killing me the most and the fastest. Until, again, as I say, I reached a point of willingness where I said to myself, These are choices made by me, and these are consequences that I need to suffer. This wreckage is mine alone because it was created by me alone. My mother wasn't there. My dad wasn't there. None of the drug addicts in my childhood were there. None of my abusers were there. Sure, I still wear the scars, but I made all those choices. This is a hard truth. And one of the reasons why it's so difficult for so many of us to overcome. And one of the reasons why I speculate, what do they approximate 70% of those addicted never make it into sustained long-term recovery? Peace, y'all.